While Boris Johnson is on holiday, Keir Starmer has attempted to highlight the shortage of HGV drivers in Britain by going to get himself a test. And then when that lines up... Oh. <laughs> it's that side there. We would have got it. Yeah, right. so you're on that angle, right? Yeah. Put it break off. Very good. So that's where now you've we've won that angle. So uh, you'd have failed your test. Okay, very good. Very good. <laughs> that was You that saw was... the moment his soul just <laughs> left his body. I <laughs> could <laughs> just Awful. There's so many good bits about that clip. He's been, first of all, he's being told to go left, go left. He's like, oh, I'm not sure I want to go left. I'm always told by my other advisors <laughs> not to go left. Then he crashes into the bit of concrete behind him. He's told, you've failed. Now, you could start that out well. You say, yeah, I wasn't here to suggest that becoming a HGV driver was easy, right? That's why I think we need proper government investment in it. Of course, I can't pass on my first day. But then instead, he just goes, very good. You failed. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Just, I think, I think being told to go left, refusing to go left, crashing into something and then failing is quite a good kind of image for what is happening to the Labour Party <laughs> yeah. right now. But also, I just, if I was ever, if the you know absurd, absurd ever occurred and I was hired to do like the PR of a politician, I would just be like, step away from the hard hat and the high vis. It just makes you look like a knob. Like it just, everyone knows what you're trying to do. You're wearing a very expensive suit under it. People don't like, people care about whether or not you're doing things that make their working conditions better. They actually don't care if you, you know, put a hard hat on and look like you're getting stuck in because we know that you're not. And it's just so embarrassing. But also, surely you could have prepared better to have like a line for when you inevitably fail the test, like you said. You know, oh I mean, my I. God. I actually, I'm going to be um, contrarian and say, because I saw lots of people saying what kind of media advisor would put him in the, you know, the front carriage of a truck. And I think that actually, you know, it could have gone quite well. If Boris Johnson had done it, it would have been hilarious, right? But mm. if you're going to do that, and it also it is good to get, you know, the HGV crisis in the news and to make it look as if Keir Starmer cares about these things that people, you know, do, do really care about. But as you say, if you are a media advisor and you're going to put him in that situation... He's going to fail the test, right? They kind of said he's not going to possibly... He's going to fail the test. So what is your response when you fail the test? And maybe someone like Boris Johnson would be able to think of that off the top of his head. But clearly, Kiss Time is not very good at, you know, one-liners. So give him one. Oh, God, it's awful. Yeah, you could have literally just said, you know, this shows you, like, how much we need to value our HGV workers. We need to pay them well. We need to make sure their working conditions are really good. You know, it's such a hard job. It's essential work. There's like a million discourses he could have plugged into. And the discourse he decided to plug into was, God, I'm just a bit crapper. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you wanted to be really, really cynical, you could say that this is, that was part of the metaphor because Keir Starmer, ignore calls to go left, crash the vehicle you've just taken charge of, fail, but ultimately, that was very good because at least you didn't go left.